Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Now let's see if you can listen to what I will share with you. Now I learned something different. Okay, but I want to check with my students if it's Good true. evening, teacher. Really? What was your day? Mm, so so, I'm, teacher. I'm <laughs> better for you. <laughs> okay, teacher. I guess uh, uh, we will have a better Zoom class okay, today, teacher. Because they they show me what I have to do in order to share videos with you. But I want to check if it's true. Let's see. Okay. Let me know if you can listen well. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. You can listen now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, we did it. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, fine. I finally know how to use this thing. <laughs> See, every time I learn something. Okay, now, how was your day? It was fine? Fine, teacher. Fine, okay. teacher. Today, as we already uh, agreed on the WhatsApp, we will continue with uh, lesson five, okay? The, 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 section, the section five. Okay, because uh, as I read in the WhatsApp, you have to have half of the this section for tomorrow. So we are going to check because I know that most of you already even finished the the these things. Okay, but let's. Now today we can we can we can work better with the videos. But yes, it's time to start. Okay. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, again. The conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, 
Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, now. Repeat after me. I'm going to the soccer match. I'm going to the I'm soccer going match. To the soccer match. I'm going to the soccer match. I'm going, going to the soccer, soccer, match. soccer match. I always complain about soccer and football. When they call American football, and they call our football soccer. Because I said our soccer should be called football because we play it with the feet, okay? We use the feet in order to play it. We touch the ball with the both feet. And if you take it with the hand, it, it only only uh, the goalkeeper and the people that is uh, getting the ball inside the, in touch it with the hand. Then oh, everything with the feet. That should be football. Okay. But they call American football football and they don't use the feet to work with the with the ball. The only time when they hit the ball. Are you ready to talk about? Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only time when they hit the ball with with the foot is just one of the. Uh, players and it's when they are going to make the the uh, the goal but then all the time they are carrying the 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 ball uh, with the hands or here or whatever and I say no that shouldn't be football call football ours should be called football. But even in the sports, they get what they want. <laughs> okay, now, remember what we talked uh, yesterday? This is the, the continuity of that thought. The myodocure mind is incapable of understanding the man who refuses to bow blindly to conventional prejudices and chooses instead to express his opinion courageously and honestly. It could be honestly or honestly. You can hear it both ways. Honestly or honestly, okay? Now, this is the continuum of the thought from yesterday. Eh, la mente mediocre es incapaz de entender al hombre que se niega a inclinarse ciegamente a los prejuicios convencionales y escoge in su lugar, expresar sus opiniones con coraje y honestidad. Okay? Nice talk. Do you like it? I love it. I hope you like it. Okay, section five, I'm going to a soccer match. Okay? In this session, you will be listening to a conversation between two people making plans, future with present continuous and be going to are introduced, okay? Uh, 
future with present continuous. Present continuous, remember, is when we use verb to be and the main verb with ing form. And the be going to is one of the future tenses. The other one is will, okay? Now, repeat after me. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Say, Miguel, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to. I love to. I love to. Love to. But I can't. But I can't. But I can't. can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. I'm going, going to a soccer, soccer match, match with my brother. Match with my brother. Oh well, maybe some other time. Oh well, oh, well maybe, maybe, maybe some, some other, other, other time. time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you Are doing, doing anything, anything tomorrow? tomorrow? We could go then. We could go, we then. Could go then. We could go then. We could, we go, could go, then. go then. Go. Go. We could go then. We, we could then. go then. Okay. Tomorrow sounds fine. Tomorrow, tomorrow sounds fine. I'm go I'm going to work until five. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. So let's go around six. Sorry. But I need to fix this. I don't like misspelling. Six. Okay. Afterward. Okay. 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 Afterward. Afterward. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, teacher. Yes. Maybe we can get some dinner. Maybe, Maybe we, we can get some, get some dinner. dinner. Sounds great. Sounds, Sounds great. great. Okay. Now, do you want to do it again? Okay, no. all the girls and all the boys will be Miguel, okay? Now, say Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Say Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Bowling? Do you, do you, do you want, want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. All the girls. Oh well, maybe some other time. Oh well, maybe some other time. Now on the boys. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. We could go then. We could go then. We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. Tomorrow, tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. I'm going, going to work until five. five. So let's go around six. So let's go around six. Okay. 
okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Okay, okay. afterward, after okay. Okay. Maybe maybe we can get dinner. 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 Sounds great. Sounds, Sounds great. 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 Okay. Now, volunteers. Me teacher. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, Katia okay. and Miguel, or who? Yes. Okay, Katia okay. and Miguel. Miguel, okay. you will be Miguel. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. okay, teacher. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bubbling? I love to, but I can't. I am going to a soccer match. Why my brothers? Oh, well, maybe some other, so other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call Golden. Tomorrow some fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around it. Okay, afterward. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Great, great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Okay, Sounds great. Is, teacher. It's good. Okay, good. We could go then. We could go then. We could go then. If you notice, we could you, you don't pronounce O and L. You say could. Okay? Okay. You don't pronounce O and neither L. You say could. Okay, we teacher. could go then. Okay? Okay, somebody wants to ask some something. Alguien quería preguntar algo? Escuché a alguien diciendo algo. Not teacher. Ah, okay. Now other volunteer. Me teacher. Okay, Andrea. Yes. And who else? A boy, a boy, please, a boy. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead, Ricardo. And first, Andrea. Yes. Uh, say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go there. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's let let's go around six. Okay. After war, maybe we can we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers. Eduardo Romero. Who else? Reina, could you help us? Okay. Hi, Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you do are you doing anything tomorrow? We call good them. Go them. Tomorrow so so fine. I go to work until five. So let's go around six. Oh, 
afterward maybe we can we can get some dinner sounds great okay thank you very much two other volunteers don oscar who will Ingrid, do you want to help us? Or, or who is who is volunteering? Quién estaba de voluntario? Me teacher. Okay. Then Mr. Oscar and you. Okay. Say, Michael, what are you what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go to go bowling? Diana, okay. La compañera que dijo que iba a ayudar. Hello. Se nos fue. Se nos fue. Bueno, I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, when my when my be some other time other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow some fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Hey after work. Maybe we can get some dining. Dinner. Dinner. Dinner, we can dinner. get some dinner. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Okay. Now, William Liborio, do you want? Yes, teacher. And who else could help us? Andrea? Me, teacher, please. Ah, okay, go ahead. You go first. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's, let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. It's great. Okay, thank you. Now, Daisy and... Me, teacher, please. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, hey, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I going I going to a soccer match with brother. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call we call go then. Good. We could go then. We remember could I go then. remember I told you you don't you don't pronounce o or L, just say could, okay? Could, no se pronuncia ni could, la O ni la L. Okay. Could. Tomorrow, so fine. I'm going to walk until five. So let's go six. Let's go around six. Mm -hmm. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, let me tell you, I am very happy with you because you are doing great jobs with the CPTs. 
If you have any doubts about how uh, is the pronunciation, you may ask me or you may also uh, write the things either in Google or here, let me show you. This. For example, uh, if you want a good translator, okay, it is called reverso. And uh, there are many languages that you can translate from and to. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. These are all the languages: Arabic, Chinese, Dutch, English, French, German, Hebrew, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Swedish, Turkish, and Ukrainian. You can use any of those languages from and to, okay? I had here from English to Spanish. And here I wrote volunteer, okay? And then I press here. Volunteer. Okay? And you can listen how it is, it is pronounced, okay? And this is the meaning, okay? So th this is a very good, uh, uh, application and you can have it online or you can download. I will share it with you uh, in the WhatsApp, okay? Thank you, teacher. Please, teacher, okay, thank you. Okay, for you to remember. Now, let's continue with the class. Now, making plans, okay? Uh, other two volunteers? No more volunteers? Me teacher Dina. Okay, Dina Elizabeth and Don Elmer. Okay, go ahead. Me teacher. Uh, okay. Say, say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer, soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go, go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after one, maybe we can get some dinner. Sound great. Okay, thank you very much. Other two volunteers? And remember, uh, some of you already tell me that you uh, already have made the registration for the next course. Uh, you have until October the 4th, but it is better that if you already can, you, you can do it right now. Okay. The sooner the better. Okay, and Eduardo Romero, you already passed? Don Oscar Armando, do you want to go? 
Again? Yes. Okay. But now you will be Miguel. Who else? Always. Oh, oh. when my be some other cocktail? No, no, wait, wait. Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, we are we are trying to get a partner for you. And you will be Miguel. Okay. Uh, Reina or Jessica? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. You first and then Mr. Oscar. Say. Okay. No, first uh, your classmate. Uh, say. Uh, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to go. I, I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, uh, well, maybe some one other time. Some other time. Are you going anything tomorrow? We go going, yeah. Tomorrow, some fine. I'm going to work until five. So, let's go around six. Oh, okay. After work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome. Other two volunteers? No? Then we continue. By the end of this session, this is this is spell, but it was not my fault. Okay. When this happened, is because I write something, and the the computer thinks that it is a uh, a smartphone and change what I wrote. <laughs> okay. Now, by the end of this session, you will have learned how to use future with the present continuous and be going to. Here we have a line of time for you to know what is the present continuous, okay? And for example, we use the present continuous with am, is, and are, that means verb to be in present, and the present participle of the main verb. The present participle, you, it, it is called present participle, ing form or gerund. Any of the three ways is the same. O sea, cualquier forma es lo mismo. O sea, ing form, present participle or gerund. Todo es lo mismo. Es cuando el verbo termina en ing. And it started before the present time and continues up to the future. Okay? That is a present continuous. Okay? Started before the present, but continues during the present and up to the future. That's the present continuous. Now, future with present continuous and be going to. Okay, be going to is originally one of the future tense, as will. Will is the other future tense, okay? But uh, the be going to is very similar to the present continuous. But the difference is that you need a main verb up the going to. Se necesitan un verbo principal después del going to. Okay, now, what are you doing tonight? Okay, this is present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Okay, I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. Okay. Now here, with plus be going to plus the verb. 
What is she going to do tomorrow? Okay. What is she going to do tomorrow? If you notice is and going to is part of the structure, but then you have do as another verb. Okay. Any doubt? Alguna duda? No? Okay. When you change for the future, when you change be going to, you change it with will. So we can say, what will she do tomorrow? What will she do tomorrow? Okay. Is the same as what is she going to do tomorrow? Okay. Por ahí vi una carita que no le pareció mucho. Any doubts, Mr. Elmer? I confused teacher. That's, I, 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 that's why I'm, I am explaining. Eh, los futuros está el futuro que es be going to y el futuro que es will. ¿Sí? Ok. Entonces, usted puede expresar el futuro tanto con will como con be going to. Cuando usted va a decir el be going to, tiene que tener el verbo to be el, el, y la going to, que es parte de la estructura, y el verbo principal. Okay. Cuando, cuando usted va a usar will, entonces usted quita el verbo to be, quita el going to, y solo queda will con el verbo principal. ¿Y, y en qué caso eh, tendría que usar el, el will? ¿Y en qué caso utilizar eh, la estructura del going bueno, to? Supuestamente ambos se refieren a un futuro y usted puede ocupar el uno o el otro. Mm, okay, pero, okay, pero normalmente hay gente que hace una pequeña diferenciación y así me lo enseñaron a mí, ¿verdad? Pero hay gente que ya no lo ocupa, como el may y el can, ¿verdad? Que yo prefiero decir may I go out y hay gente que pregunta can I go out, pero yo prefiero may, ¿verdad? Es como pidiendo permiso. Entonces, pero en el caso del will, usted es como un, como un deseo, como una voluntad de, ¿verdad? En cambio, cuando usted ocupa el verbo to be con going to, usted está seguro que eso va a suceder. Mm, ok, teacher. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo digo, I am going to go to El Salvador, es porque ya tengo hasta las maletas hechas. Y ya sé que ya tengo mi tiquete y ya sé que yo me voy, ¿verdad? Entonces, I am going to go to El Salvador. Entonces, es que ya está todo y yo quiero ir. En cambio, yo le podría decir I will go to Egypt, pero ni tengo visa, ni tengo tiquete, ni tengo nada. O sea, solo tengo la muy buena voluntad de querer ir. ¿Verdad? O sea, que yo quisiera en el futuro ir al Egipto, ¿verdad? Porque es uno de los lugares que yo quisiera conocer. Pero, o sea, es algo a futuro, ¿verdad? como una esperanza de ir, pero que no estoy segura. Ok, okay gracias, Tichi. Es algo Tichi. incierto, entonces, cuando se, digamos, se puede utilizar el, el will, cuando es algo incierto. Exacto. Cuando es algo incierto, pero que puede suceder, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Pero también hay gente que lo ocupa independientemente. Cuando quiere referirse al futuro, ocupa will. Y también... Tichi. Más fácil de usar will que going to. Dígame. I have a question. Eh, the will is, is podría. Y en going to voy a ir. Exacto. Esa podría ser la diferencia. Ajá. Eh, eh, okay, es como, es como, como iría. I will go. Iría. O, ok, o, teacher. Ajá. Y en cambio el going to voy a ir. ¿Verdad? Ok, teacher. Yeah, okay. teacher. Y, y actualmente, por ejemplo, en, Thank you, teacher. 
en, en Estados Unidos, en, ¿qué ocupan más ellos? El going to. Lo ocupan y... más. Pues para Yo he oído ocupar bastante futuro con Will. Ah, ok. Porque es que ellos son bastante araganes con el idioma. Y el will es más fácil de utilizar que el going to. Porque con ah. el going to usted tiene que asegurarse que el verbo to be que está ocupando sea con esa persona. Porque, por ejemplo, para I sería am. Para you... Ah, y, y lo contractan. Yo he escuchado que lo contractan informalmente ah. con gonna, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. O sea, le eh, gusta decir... Que, eh, eh, en ese, en ese decir, caso estamos gonna, ocupando el gonna, going, wanna, y cosas así. Y, y eso... Eso es slang. Esa es una o sea, contracción es, del going. Es del going to, pero es slang. O sea, es, no es gramaticalmente correcto. Ah, si, usted okay. va a, si usted va a escribir algo formal y pone gona, no. O sea, si usted va a dar un speech en, la, en, en, la, en las Naciones Unidas y llega diciendo gona, uh, uh, ¿verdad? O sea, eh, para cosas formales es going to. ¿Ok? Ok. Bien. Entonces, she's going to work until five. Repeat. She's going she's to work, to work until five. until five. She's going Are to they work going until to five. go bowling? Are they going, Are to, they go going bowling? to go bowling? Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. Yes, yes they, they are. are. Yes, they are. Yes, yes are. Are. Now, eh, the time expressions, okay? Time expression for future, for uh, referring to the future. Uh, we have here some, okay? Tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, o sea, mañana o pasado mañana, como decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? The day after tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Mañana en la mañana, tomorrow afternoon, mañana en la tarde. In five years time, o sea, dentro de cinco años. In an hour, en una hora. In a week, en una semana. Later, más tarde. Soon, pronto. In short. O sea, dentro de poco, dentro de poco. Next year, el eh, siguiente year. año, ¿verdad? El siguiente año. Next week, la próxima semana. Next Tuesday, el próximo martes. In the future. In the future. En el futuro. On Monday. On Monday. On, On Monday. Tuesday. On Tuesday. On Monday morning. On Monday morning. On Monday afternoon. On Monday afternoon. Okay, now repeat after me. Tomorrow. 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 The day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. In five years time. Five years. Ahí puede ser cualquier cantidad de años. Un año, dos años, tres años, cuatro años, cinco años, lo que usted quiera. Okay? Okay. In an hour. In an hour. hour. Ahí también podrían decir in two hours. ¿Ya? Pero in yeah. an hour es cuando es solo una hora. En una yeah. hora. Pero si ya ponen más de una hora, entonces ya no dice an sino que dicen la cantidad de horas y dicen hours. O sea, ya no dicen horas, sino que horas. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Este, y también aquí cuando es in a week es cuando es solo una semana. Pero si es más de una semana, entonces usted dice two, three weeks. ¿Ok? Weeks. Ahí okay, sería con, con, con plural. Ok, now. Repeat. Later. 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 Soon. 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 In short. In short. Next year. Next, Next year. year. Next week. 
week. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. In the future. In the future. On Monday. On Monday. Tuesday. On Monday morning. On Monday morning. On Monday afternoon. On Monday afternoon. Este, ahí pueden poner cualquier día, ¿verdad? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, lo que sea. Ok. okay. Now. Eh, repeat after me. What are you doing tonight? What are you What doing, are you doing, doing tonight? tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Are you, Are you doing, doing anything, anything tomorrow? tomorrow? No. Uh, use planning actions in the future time. Uh, yes, actions, no ese, okay? Actions in the future time. Uh, the, that is the use of uh, the present continuous and be going to planet actions in the future time. And you are certain that something is going to happen in the future when we, when we use be going to, okay? You are certain that something is going to happen in the future. Okay, and main difference. When making predictions, we do not use present continuous. Rather, we use be going to or will, okay? When making prediction, we don't use present continuous. We use be going to or will. Uh, be going to, uh, to make predictions. Watch out, you are going to break the glass. Now repeat, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. You are, you are, are going, going to break the glass. You are, you are going, going to break, to break, the, break the, glass. the glass. It's so cloudy. It's, it's so, so cloudy. cloudy. I think it's going to rain. I think, I think it's going to rain. And El present continuous is a subject, verb to be in simple present, and then the verb in ing, okay? That is the present continuous. Example, she is watching a movie. She is, she is watching, watching a, movie. a movie. He is going to cook. He is he going, going, going to cook. cook. Okay. Now, I'm going to play handball. I'm, I'm going, going to play, play handball. handball. They are going to the concert. They are going to, going to, the, to concert. the concert. Ahí puse a mi Chayán, porque a mí me pasa. Chayán. Sí, a mí me pasa Chayán. Me too, teacher. <ríe> no, y es que miren, es, es, ya tiene como cincuenta y tantos años y todavía tiene un cuerpazo. Que cualquier joven es como el vino, se, teacher. Cualquier joven se lo, se, lo, se, lo, se lo envidia. Bueno, es más, yo pongo a mis hijos a bailar a la par de él y, 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 y mis hijos terminan deshechos y él todavía bailando. <ríe> ok. When making questions, where are you celebrating your graduation? Where are, are, are you celebrating, your, celebrating your, graduation? your graduation? But ese sería present continuous, okay? Where are you celebrating your graduation? Porque el verbo to be y el verbo en ing, okay? Okay. What is he doing tonight? What, what is what he is doing, doing tonight? tonight? Now we have. Oops, sorry. 
es que los tengo aquí a la izquierda y no me dejan leer. Ok. You may ask like this. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? Aquí es Where, where are you going to celebrate your graduation? Your graduation. What is he going to do tonight? What, what is he going, going to do tonight? tonight? Right. Si se fijan es la misma pregunta, pero aquí está en presente continuo y aquí está en going to. Ok. Present continuous and going to. Ahí les pongo las fórmulas. ¿Verdad? Esta bicha me fascina. Bien expresiva. <laughs> ok. What are you going to do this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? This weekend. Now, uh, the difference, this is the difference between present continuous and be going to, okay? Now, both going to and present continuous. Esto solo, sigan la lectura, eh, porque quiero que terminemos con el ejer primer ejercicio ahora. Both going to and present continuous are used to talk about future actions and events that have some present reality. So for example, if we say that something is happening or going to happen, it is usually already decided or planned. We are going to get uh, new windows, okay? We are getting new windows. Both sentences express nearly the same idea. Both present continuous and be going to can be used to express the same idea. In some cases, there is a difference of meaning. The present continuous is common with verbs of movement. I'm just popping out to the cafe. Are you coming to the party? Okay, uh, those are moving. The present it's continuous is, yes? What is the meaning popping? popping? O sea, es como cuando que okay, estoy saliendo, estoy saliendo a la cafetería, pero popping out. Uh, okay, teacher, thank you. O sea, es algo que ya, ya, ya estás lista, ya estás de irte. Okay, okay teacher. Estoy saliendo, ya, ya, ya. O sea, no, no como eh, eh, las clásicas mujeres, ¿verdad? Que dame un minuto y se tardan tres horas más, ¿ok? Ok, teacher test. <risa> Digo las clásicas, di, fíjense que dije las clásicas mujeres, no me incluí yo. Porque aquí en mi casa la cosa es diferente. Se tardan más mis hijos que yo. <risa> okay. It's true, teacher. Aquí la casa, en la casa es diferente. Ok. The present continuous tense is mainly used to talk about personal arrangement and fixed plans. Be going to can also be used to express the same idea. However, it puts an extra emphasis in the idea of intention. Ok. Examples. I'm going to Eh, esto sí, repitan. I'm going to get a new job. I'm going, I'm going to, to get, get a new job. job. New job. Bueno, ahí dice, I intend to get a job, ¿verdad? Eso significa ese, ese ejemplo, en ese caso. I'm getting a new job. I'm, I'm getting, getting a, a new, new job. job. It's already decided or arranged. Here the focus is on the arrangement. Okay. Arrangement. What are you doing this evening? What are you doing this evening? Eh, esta es una pregunta sobre lo que están, eh, lo que está ya arreglado. Are you doing, are you going to do anything about that letter you received from the civic authorities? 
Esa es una pregunta sobre las intenciones del que está escuchando. Okay. I'm seeing teacher tomorrow. Aquí hay un énfasis de que ya está el arreglo y que ya existe, ¿verdad? I'm going, está I'm listo. seeing teacher tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to ask him to stop borrowing my car. Es un énfasis en las intenciones del que está eh, hablando. Now, events outside people's control. O sea, eventos que están lejos del control de las personas. We don't normally eh, use the present continuous to talk about events that are outside people's control. It is going to snow before long. Not it is snowing before long. Entonces, si se fijan, aquí, it is going to. No se dice it is snowing, sino que it is going to. ¿Verdad? Look at the sky. It is going to rain. Prices are going to fall. Okay. And here are some difference. Oh, there is me and my mother. In that picture, me and my mother, and we are, uh, it is called uh, uh, El Museo de la Biodiversidad, Biodiversity Museum, here in Panama. Está bien cerquita del canal, pero a mí lo que me gustó es que miren, ahí al fondo, donde nosotras estamos, no está lloviendo. Pero si ustedes se fijan al fondo, casi como que fuera un, 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 una cortina y esa es la lluvia. Y así llueve aquí. O sea, a, a, a poquita distancia de donde usted está, puede estar cayendo un tormentón que a la vida. Y donde usted está, está haciendo el gran colapso. <risa> no. It is raining and prices are falling have all together different meanings. They are used to talk about actions or situations that are in progress at the moment. Be going to is only used to talk about future events. Now, let's go to the knowledge check. Okay, here we go. Todo eso que les leí no está en la, en la plataforma. Pero lo van a tener porque se lo voy a mandar en el PPT. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bien, entonces aquí vamos con Knowledge Check. Complete the invitations with the present continuous. Use as future. Use the pronoun and the verb in brackets. Ok. Entonces vamos a ocupar you y do. Ok. Entonces aquí dice what. Y dice tonight. Would you like to go out? Entonces, ¿qué creen que es la pregunta? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, what are you doing tonight? Ok. And then number two. Are you doing? Are you doing? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Desde la pandemia no he ido al cine. Yo iba por lo menos una vez al mes. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are having. We are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Okay, here. Are you staying? Are you staying? Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? 
Do you want to go for a hike? Miren, a propósito, si dentro, si en el, si en el 2024 quedo de, 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 de diputada, este, me invitan a sus respectivos lugares hoy en París los a visitar. Ok, teacher. Okay, teacher. Porque okay. yo pretendo ser de las diputadas que van a escuchar a la población. O sea, quiero que las cosas se hagan, pero no imponer las cosas que yo creo que, sino que escuchar qué es lo que mi gente necesita y de acuerdo a eso actuar. ¿Verdad? Okay. Excellent okay. teacher. Y, y Dios me ayude y me dé paciencia, porque hay gente todavía ahí en la asamblea que ay, dan ganas de agarrar los viajes. La, la unión requiere, teacher, educación media técnica. Anote educación media bien. técnica, sí. Así más es. It, más ITCAS aquí en la Unión. Sí, sí. Co eh, hay, que, hay, que, hay que impulsar las carreras técnicas, ¿verdad? Este, pero también hay que impulsar la agricultura. Porque le voy a decir una cosa, a mí me fascina la tecnología, pero un celular y una computadora no me la voy a comer. ¿Verdad? Y no es por nada, pero casi todo el mundo se está preocupando por hacer computadoras, por hacer carros, por hacer esto, por hacer aquello otro, todo con su mismo. Pero no piensan en que la gente necesita comida. ¿verdad? Y que si no sembramos, ¿cómo va a haber comida? Dígame. Es que lo que Dígame. pasa es que se debería diversificar la educación más que todo al nivel tecnológico de acuerdo a las necesidades de la población o sectores. ¿verdad? O sea, por ejemplo, en el campo, diversificarla en la tecnología, pero de la siembra de, de diversos, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, artículos. ¿verdad? Y en sí. la ciudad, pues en la ciudad es otra cosa, es la no. industrialización. Yo, yo, tengo, yo tengo la intención de regresar nuestro, nuestra, o sea nuestros cultivos que sean 100% orgánicos porque con los químicos estamos arruinando el suelo sí, y estamos arruinando el agua y nuestro pero cuerpo hay, hay que y nuestro cuerpo así es sí, hay, pero hay que tecnificarlo ya. Si la hay que replicar no otro mala, ENA aquí en la Unión no es mala. lo malo es el mal uso que se le da no y fíjense que vaya ahora que le están dando ese impulso a ya lo, lo de la basura si yo aquí, por ejemplo, eh, cuando yo ya vine aquí ya a, a quedarme, empecé a hacer eso porque eso yo lo tengo como proyecto desde ese año. Este, de, de que la basura que saco de la, de, de la cocina ya no la tiro para que vaya al basurero, sino que la... La diversifica. No, la, diversifica. la, la, la ¿cómo se llama? La clasifica. La, la, la voy clasificando y lo que son semillas lo dejo para sembrar y lo que es este, biodegradable lo pongo enterrado aquí en mi patio para hacer composta. Y lo, las cosas que nacen en esa tierra de compostaje tiene un sabor deliciosísimo y eh, sí, que lo que pasa más que luego, los, porque los yo tuve... Que tienen los suelos es mucho mejor. Sí, pues sí, pero el, el suelo de aquí no sirve. No, yo le digo, con eso que hace es nutrir el suelo. Exacto. Teacher, teacher. Dígame. Por la hora, continuemos, por favor. Sí, sí, Perdón. ahorita, en el, a, a eso iba, por hoy ya estoy aquí. Vale. Perdón, este, I... I'm going to be. I'm going to be. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm going. going to be. I am going to be here. On Saturday. Okay. Well, my father is going to visit. My brother at college. Sorry, I can't. I am going. I'm going to work. To work. No, I am going to work. Only work. I'm going to work. Uh huh. And can we go to a late show? I am. I am going. I am to going to stay. 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 At the office 
till seven, okay? Yes, miren, son buenísimo dando copias ustedes. No crea, teacher, a mí me costó de volar. <risa> miren, eh, por eso, fíjense que haciendo eso que les digo, eh, se, nos evitamos también el, el, el problema de, de, de lo de la basura. Si hacemos compostaje. Pero todos tenemos que ayudar cada quien en su casa, ¿ok? See you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is no day to go out with friends. You have to be with me in class. After the class, you may go. Okay. Bye, teacher. 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 Okay. Mire, o llévese su computadora allá, y allá desde allá me oyen, vea cualquier cosa. Ok, teacher. <laughs>